Hello guys and welcome to today's Photoshop Friday. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can design and create your own nail polish favor tag. And also I'll be going through how you can use the mock-up that goes along with the template. Hello my friends and welcome to my channel. If you are new, I'm Sam and welcome to the Ellie Rose Party Designs community where we talk about everything to do with Photoshop, Silhouette Studio, PicMonkey and so much more. Alright, to get started we need to download our template and the template you can find in the link in the description box down below and then once you've done that you can then start by importing all of your clip art and your background wallpaper. So one of my friends is having a is having her wedding in December and she's asked me to make these very cute little favor tags that are going to go nail polishes for her bridal shower. So all we're going to do is we're going to bring in the clip art and the clip art or the theme for the wedding is a cottage theme. So feel free to check out those videos that I have previously done where I've shown you how to make wedding menu cards and how to make a welcome sign and that is the same theme that we're going with in today's video. All right, so let's go ahead and bring in our clip art. So all the clip art that I'm going to be using is just one in particular, and that is this one here. And I'm just going to click and I'm going to drag it straight into my design. And there it is. And then just to hit um, to place it, all you're going to do is hit enter. Now, all I'm going to do is just untick that, turn the eyeball off because I don't want it to appear right now because I'm going to be doing something else first. So I want to just bring in my background. So let's go ahead and bring in our background. Okay, so to match the cottage theme, we're going to go with the little wood effect um, for the, the background. And I'm just going to find one that I've got here in my, my folder. And I think I'm going to go with this one here. All right, so I'm going to click and I'm going to drag that in into there. Now, once it appears, we're just going to hit enter once again to place our background. Hit enter to place our image. Now, what we're wanting to do is obviously have this background effect within the circle of our template. OK, so you'll notice that over here is the ellipse tool, which is also the what's known as the circle tool. And all I want to do now is take this wood effect and actually crop it into that circle shape. So how do we do that? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click and I'm just going to drag that just above our ellipse tool temp uh, ellipse um, layer. Okay. And in order to get this inside that Im uh, inside that um, circle, all we're going to do is we're going to right click onto that layer. And we're going to go create clipping mask and you'll notice that it's now cropped inside that circle shape this is one of the great things about photoshop is the clipping mask you can clip it pretty much into anything and you will see in future videos for photoshop friday i will use clipping mask quite a bit so get familiar with that um, that tool to use because it is a game changer all right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just switch on this little flower bouquet that I've got there. And I'm just wanting to drag it down here. But of course, it's too big. So all we're going to do is hit Control and T for Tango. It's obviously going to transform, um, go into transform mode. All we're going to do is hit the Shift key and click from here. And we're just going to drag it down. The reason why I'm hitting the Shift key is to keep the proportions of the clip art. So we're just going to go down and I'm happy with that and let's just bring you about there and hit enter. Now I'm just going to go a little bit to the left side, actually too far, about there. Okay, so I'm liking the way that looks and then I'm now just going to add in my wording. So we're going to create a new layer by clicking onto this little notepad icon over here and it's now created a new layer and I'm just going to go over here to our what's known as a type tool. I just call it a text tool and it's going to bring up all of your options for that particular icon, which is the type tool. And I'm just wanting to go here and I'm just going to search for a font called Mr. Sketch. Okay. 
in here it is here and I'm just going to click onto that and I'm going to make sure that my color is exactly what I want it to be and all I've done is you click onto here and it will bring up your color palette and I'm just going to go over here and almost just select this color here but I know for I know that I'm probably not going to want that color so let's just see if we can maybe make it a little bit that color no I'm going to go with probably the color that I previously had and all I did was pretty much just find the color I want to the color that I wanted by selecting whichever um, color option and then we'll obviously bring it up here okay and I'm just going to go back to that color that I like and I'm just going to hit okay and then I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to click on to the canvas and I'm just going to type in Manny okay and hit enter I'm then going to drag you to the center to about there and I'm going to hit control or command on a, on a Mac T again and I'm just going to keep the shift key down and I'm just going to drag that out to about there and let's just bring that up to there and I'm just going to hit enter to place it now all I'm going to do is I'm actually going to duplicate that layer and do um, the wording thanks the same size and color as the top one and by doing that all I like to do is obviously duplicate that layer and to do that we're just going to click and we're going to drag it on top of that notepad again and hit release like release your button from your mouse and that layer will be sitting on top and all we're going to do is click and drag it down and there it is there okay you can hold the shift key if you want and drag it down and that keeps it in the same um, same layer if that makes sense it um, so I'll give you an example so let's go so you hold the shift key and I'm just going to drag and you see how it stays exactly in line with the the one that you've just duplicated okay so you can do that by holding the shift key and dragging it down so having that layer selected we're going to go over here back to our type tool text tool and we're going to go here and I'm just going to highlight everything and change it to thanks and hit in, uh, and hit the select tool or move tool and there we go so I'm liking the way that is looking now I'm going to go ahead and add in the rest of my wording which is going to say Casey's bridal shower and then the date of the bridal shower so to do that all we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer and I'm going to go here and I'm actually going to change the font to a font called welcome which you will notice I use a lot in the previous wedding tutorials that I've showed you in Photoshop Friday. So we're going to click onto that and we're going to go here and I'm just going to type in Casey. Oopsie, let's change it to lower cases. Casey's bridal shower. And hit the select tool. And I'm just going to bring it into the center and hit control and T for tango. And I'm going to hold the shift key and I'm just going to click and drag it out until I'm happy with the size that I want it about there okay I'm then going to bring it up and it looks like it is in the middle all right and hit enter and then I all I'm going to do now is add in my date so I'm just going to click on to this one here and I'm going to duplicate that and I'm just going to hold the shift key and bring that down all right and I'm going to use the type tool and I'm just going to type in the date which is the 30th of the 11th of 2019 but of course I don't want it so big so I'm just going to hit control T hold the shift key and drag that down until I'm happy with the size and let's just drag you into place to about say there and hit enter okay I probably need it further down to about there and then I'm just might drag you further down okay so I'm happy with that on how it is looking okay so once you are ready with your design all we're going to do is group all of those layers together all right and how do we do that so over here all we're going to do is sorry this is all the layers that we're going to be grouping together so all we're going to do is go to layers and we're going to go to merge visible okay we're not going to flatten the image because we want to keep the background of our design transparent because the actual template itself is going to be a circle template so you want to keep the background transparent 
so now that you have put it all together into one layer we're now going to open up your mock-up design now yours might look a little bit different to mine because this is like my mock-up of my mock-up if that makes any sense okay but it's going to look like this and all we're going to do is obviously change the design that's going to go in this circle so we can either click onto there so you know exactly which layer we're going to use and you're going to click onto this little square box that's over here now yours is going to probably say click here or double click here whatever that's where you're going to click okay so you're going to double click onto that and you're going to be brought to your little template over here so going back to our design and making sure it's all grouped together we're going to click onto that and we're going to drag that design into this design and now the design that we were working on is a lot bigger than this mock-up template is okay so all we're going to do is hit Control t to transform and all i'm going to do is just drag this and this and this and this okay and i'm just going to hit enter okay so once you've done it, all we're going to do now is go right click and we're going to create clipping mask and that cl that clipping mask is now going to attach that design to that template and we're going to go over here and hit file and we're going to hit save and if you have a look here there is our design now I probably should have moved it slightly bit over because you can see the white there um, but you kind of get the idea on how to use the mock-up so it's fairly easy so that is the end of today's tutorial uh, it was very short and sweet I hope you guys enjoyed this Feel free to let me know in the comments section what uh, future tutorials you're wanting to learn from in these Photoshop Friday videos. Please also feel free to subscribe, comment, like and share these videos. It's always grateful to see the love and I will see you guys in next week's video. Thank you guys.